In today's episode, we unbox a set of McCallum folk pipes mounted in Mopani. Stay tuned. Hello everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, please think about liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting that bell icon to be notified of when I post new videos. I also teach Skype and online lessons if you want more personalized instruction, but more on that later. Alright, don't mind the slight frog in my throat, just some local seasonal North Texas allergies. Uh, but in this box right here, we have a set of McCallum folk pipes. These are the Blackwood ones with Mopani mounts. So I'm very excited. Let's not waste any more time and get inside the box. All right, here we go. Lots of bubble wrap. I always like seeing that. Invoice. Sal, so you can see I got these from Henderson Imports. Fine organization. I got a lovely card right here. All right, we have... Um, various supplies and such here carefully on the floor I did order a spare pipe bag ah I get a McCallum bagpipes hat got to make it bigger to fit on my big old head there we go we'll wear that for just a second here we go let's get it. keep coming on in See in here, pipes. Very carefully taking them out. And let's see what we have to work with here. All right, so we have the chanter right here. And the chanter is a polypenco chanter, even if you get the Blackwood drones. I'm not sure as to why, though, I suspect it might have something to do that the poly chanter likely might have a bit more projection than a Blackwood Channer. Just a guess though, it's not, a, it's not science. And there, it's got a Shaw reed right there. So it actually has a cane reed, even though these are gonna be mouth blown. So very carefully put this cap back on. Okay, let's take a look. Ah, oh, very nice, wow. Okay, so we have the blowpipe, little flapper. So it is a smaller diameter than normal blowpipe, though it does have a fairly standard McCallum mouthpiece. Now this looks like it's probably 10 inches, so I may well um, need to replace the super nice uh, aluminum mouthpiece here with something a little shorter, because I'm not very tall. The hemping feels good. Okay, then we have the base here. Yeah, nice and snug, so you wouldn't have any air leaks there. I like that. And an easy drone inverted base but here you can see, and there'll be a full photo gallery of this set when we're done. And of course, there'll be a play test here shortly. Very carefully cut through some of the tape. Don't want to hurt the pipes in any way. Wow. It's so small. It's so cute. Look at this. It's tiny. But I love it. Mopani top right there. Mopani mount, nice and small. That actually feels really good. I, I often feel the need to rehemp the pipes uh, almost immediately from, well, just about anybody. That's just kind of my thing. But right now, these are actually feeling quite nice. Let's keep going into the tenors. Okay. There we go. Look at that. This almost makes me look normal sized, people. Again, we have a shoulder mounted stand of pipes here. They're adorable. I can't wait to hear how they sound. So, two tenors and a bass. Let's take a look just real quick here. Yeah, so we have inverted drones in the uh, tenors as well. Let's look inside the bag. What's going on here? So, a lack of a zipper on the bag cover. That if That's a little disappointing. It's not the end of the world per se, but seeing as this is a mouthful and small pipe where I'm gonna want to get to the moisture control, um, a zipper would have been a nice option. Um, I would have paid extra for it. So, and it's got full moisture control. It's got the uh, Highland Reeds style yellow bananas um, filled with desiccant, which is going to allow us to play a cane reed in a mouth blown instrument. And no, there is no tube trap or anything coming out of the blowpipe. It just opens into the bag. So now let's carefully install this chanter. 
Now, I know the clearance on this is going to be quite small, quite snug. So, go straight in. I see people often have the channel like this, the stock, and then try to turn the corner. Don't turn the corner. All right, here we go. Boom, got it in there. Reed is safe. We're ready to go and make some noise. But before we do, a good friend of mine, Mr. Dave Cannon, recently got me a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue. It's so tiny, it's so cute. It comes in a blue tinted bottle, which gives the whiskey inside a kind of cool green gold look to it. Now I've had Johnny Walker Blue before, but it's probably been 15 years, maybe closer to 20. But even the presentation at this point is pretty lovely. Now, this is a very dear spirit, so I'm just gonna have a wee taste. But a set of new bagpipes is always something to celebrate. I do like Johnny Walker. If I'm going to go with a blend, it's often the blend I choose. The smoke is still present, but it's, I mean, it's almost got like some, like Coca-Cola, not in a bad way, not that cloyingly sweet, but maybe the clove and the, I don't know, let's have a taste. Well, it's definitely got that familiar Johnny Walker overall flavor profile. It's very smooth, which is so often not helpful, but I think that's what this is known for, and it's not disappointing in that regard. Now, let's add just the tiniest bit of water just to see what all that might change. So I got my little teaspoon here, just a tiny little bit of water to the whiskey. Well, it definitely, as is so often the case, it opens the nose up a bit to bring out some fruitiness and not just the spices that I was noticing before. I would say something similar for the palate. There's a bit more of a kind of a sweetened dark fruit, like a dried dark fruit kind of flavor coming through. It definitely still has that, that smoke. I mean, it's not overpowering. It's This is not going to be like an Isla, though I do think they get their smoked whiskey from Laphroaig, but it's not that uh, powerfully smoky. So again, if uh, just Johnny Walker in general, I wouldn't say the blue. Uh, if you wanted to maybe try something with a little bit more smoke than you're used to, this might be a good good choice. Anyways, Mr. Cannon, thank you so much for this lovely gift and that I have such a great uh, reason to celebrate uh, today. All right, let's not waste any more time and have a go at these things. So uh, it's got the 10 inch blowpipe still. We'll see if that's the right length for me. And uh, let's see, where are these set up? That probably looks a little high from where I'm sure it'll need to be, but maybe not. I don't know. The tenors are just where they came from, from the unboxing. Let's, uh, let's have a go. Let's see what happens. Just a little bit wheezy. I might take a look at the bridle and see if I can get that dialed in. The tenors seem pretty much like where they need to be, though I can see they're at slightly different heights. So again, I might go in on the tuning screws and adjust those slightly so they're tuning a little bit more at the same height. Uh, the blowpipe actually seems like it might be the right length after all. Uh, I wasn't noticing it stabbing me in the roof of the mouth or shoving the bagpipe too far out forward. So uh, let's have a little bit more of a, of a go. Oh, and the chanter takes a little bit more oomph. There was one note that kind of on that one. Uh, I would say it's because I backed off the pressure. I think thinking of it in terms of other mouth-blown small pipes, this is taking a little bit more pressure. Not a bad thing. Uh, volume is nice. I can definitely hear the cane in that reed. I can tell that is not a hunk of plastic in there, which is nice. Yeah, let's keep on going. <sighs>
doesn't take that much to even get rid of the little bit of a wheeze from the, uh, the base just by bringing my arm down a little bit more. The spacing on the channer seems quite natural. I don't feel like I'm hunting and pecking for the, the holes, which is excellent. Maybe it's because I'm a Highland Piper. Um, I kind of like how it feels with the uh, drones up and on my shoulder. The across the chest thing is fine. It's fine. I just, I prefer this. I've spent a lot more hours with pipes on my shoulder than I have with pipes uh, across my chest. I've always been a wind instrumentalist. I was a saxophone player before I was uh, playing the Highland Pipes. And so the bellows are, are fine, but uh, I often find myself just the whole putting them on thing sometimes is a little bothersome. So I was curious to see if an on the shoulder pipe could deliver a playing and tonal experience that could perhaps get close to um, the sound you get out of a bellows driven instrument. And right now I'm pretty impressed. Obviously the reed's brand new. It's gonna need to be played in for a few hours. So uh, I think I'm gonna start that process now. Yeah, nice. Let's go ahead and uh, take that base. And we're going to go ahead and move that bridle down. I still have my table right here. And I'm going to try to get rid of that wheeze by closing the reed down just a hair. Like with all the easy drones, I barely moved it at all. <laughs> nice right there guys blackwood drones mopani tops and mounts they do have some cute little cords these big old tassels these small little drones i think it's kind of adorable great indoor pipe it's going to kind of fit the bill for anybody that uh, finds themselves wanting to play small pipes or even being perhaps hired to play small pipes or playing small pipes for their family and want to kind of have a little bit more of the classic highland bagpipe look um you get that obviously in a pint sized fashion right here well, if you got something out of this video, please think about giving it a like, subscribing to the channel, and commenting below with any thoughts you might have. I also have a Patreon where as little as a dollar a month goes a long way to helping support the channel, and I wanted to give a special shout out to Mr. Krusty Brooking for becoming one of my elite level patrons. So if you want to have a shout out personally on the channel here, um, join my Patreon, head over there, you'll see some names scrolling up of fine folks. These are people that contribute to help the channel, and I'd love to add your name to that list. I also give Skype and online lessons. Go ahead and head over to www.mattpiper.com or email me at the address you see right here and we'll get you going. I'm working with folks from all over the planet and I hope to work with you soon. I also have a line of Command Your Bagpipe merchandise where there's t-shirts and hats and mugs, hoodies, all sorts of stuff. Get yourself some bagpipe merchandise and let the world know that you command your bagpipe. All right, everybody, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper and until next time, cheers. <laughs>